I am a travel and lifestyle blogger, vlogger, blogger and vlogger. And um, I only started just a few months ago before the pandemic happened. And like many of you, of course, I had to put all my travel plans for this year in hiatus. I am originally from the island of Tahiti and also from the island of Maui. And I am now residing in the Hamptons. It's been four years. I am also a real estate professional part-time. I find myself enjoying doing the travel and lifestyle blogging much, much more simply because it's something I've been wanting to do for so long, but I just never could get around to it. I could never give myself the permission to actually just do it. I think I just got stung by a bee. <laughs> Ouch. I love traveling and I love that I have been able to allow myself to now be a full-time travel blog blogger. I am stunned by what I've discovered by exploring just my backyard here in the Hamptons. I've discovered so many gems, uh, and especially in terms of nature. And through my adventures and through my blogs, I hope to inspire you. Before I forget, when you come here, it, there's actually a huge campsite, including a glamping site. You're in for a treat. But one thing, it's tick infested. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but when, when you come on the trails, have water, have a change of clothes, have some mosquito and tick repellent. I use a natural one that I will uh, include at the end of this uh, video and um, I find it to work perfectly. I have not gotten stung or attacked by ticks yet. I hope you enjoy this vlog that I put together for you about the Cedar Point County Park in Sag Harbor, New York, and I will see you on the trails. Ciao. Salut à tous Je suis Noé et je suis originaire des îles de Tahiti en Polynésie française et aussi de Maui à Hawaï. J'ai commencé mon blog de voyage et de style de vie il y a à peine quelques mois et comme beaucoup d'entre vous, tous mes projets de voyage pour cette année sont en attente pour des raisons évidentes. J'espère que vous restez tous en sécurité et en bonne santé. J'adore voyager et en tant que thérapeute en santé mentale à la retraite, j'espère pouvoir vous inspirer à travers mon blog pour vous donner les moyens de faire exactement ce que votre cœur désire. La vie est trop courte, n'est-ce pas, pour ne pas en profiter Croyez-moi, j'ai appris ça à la dure. Faisant face à Covid-19, il m'est rapidement devenu évident que voyager dans ma propre cour était l'alternative à voyager à l'étranger. 
Il y a tellement de choses à explorer ici, dans les Hamptons, à New York, où je suis aujourd'hui. Mon intention est de partager avec vous tous mes endroits préférés dans les Hamptons et les raisons pour lesquelles les gens tombent amoureux de cet endroit, ainsi que les vignobles de Norfolk, de Long Island, pour une rose exploration. C'est mon rêve un jour d'avoir ma propre étiquette rosée, donc pour l'instant, j'apprends tout ce que je peux sur le sujet. Mais aujourd'hui, dans ce vlog, je vous emmène avec moi à Cedar Point County Park. C'est situé à East Hampton et j'espère que vous apprécierez l'expérience autant que j'ai aimé faire ce vlog à partager avec vous. Et je vous invite aussi à me suivre sur Instagram à arrobase Noé Rosé Travels et à vous abonner également à ma chaîne. Je vous remercie et je vous vois sur la randonnée. The Cedar Point County Park is a 607-acre park in East Hampton, New York that is owned by the government of Suffolk County, New York. It has commanding views of Gardner's Bay and is famed for its decommissioned lighthouse. Settled in 1651, Cedar Point was once a busy port for shipping farm goods, fish, and timber from Sag Harbor. Virtually the entire park, including the lighthouse, was owned at one time by Phil and Bill, husband of Edith Ewing Bouvier Bill, whose dissolved marriage was the topic of movies, television, and Broadway versions of Grey Gardens. It operated as a hunting club, called the Grey Goose Gun Club at Cedar Point, and was acquired by Suffolk County in 1967. The lodge itself is now the park foreman's residence just north of the park's general store. During the 1970s, a small bush plane crash landed in the waters near the point. A father and son were killed instantly and their plane hit the water. The bodies were brought back to Sickles Harbor, Shelter Island, and most of the plane parts were found and also brought back to Cyclis.
historic Cedar Point Lighthouse stood on an island 200 yards from shore when it was built in 1839. Its beacon served to guide whaling ships in and out of Sag Harbor during its heyday as a major port. In 1938, the New England hurricane transformed the shoreline, shifting sands to create a narrow, walkable street that now connects the lighthouse with the mainland, called the Cedar Island Light. The 40-foot granite lighthouse, which was built in 1868, was decommissioned in 1934 and replaced by an automatic light on a steel skeleton at Breakwater. The lighthouse, built in the Italianate style, is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1974, vandals burned the interior of the lighthouse. The Long Island chapter of the United States Lighthouse Society is currently working to restore the Cedar Island Lighthouse. They are seeking $2 million to convert it to a museum and bed and breakfast. Tangled up in his hair for now My bed is on the floor, it sleeps one and no one more Staring at the ceiling, trying not to spin like the fan Because the air been flow don't come without the highs and lows Now I can't suffer the tides out here on my own so baby, east or west, tell me which way I should go Cause there are oceans between you and me it seems The moon is askew and it's facing the wrong way Not trying to excuse my poor behavior I'll drink a little more than the doctor recommends In times like these when I feel I need some relief Because the air been flow don't come without the highs and lows Now I can't suffer the tides out here on my own So baby Don't come without the highs and lows And I can't suffer these tides Out here on my own So baby, east or west Tell me which way that I should go Cause there are oceans between You and me, it seems